It's your boy Lagan24 coming at you with some custom zombies on the PC. What's up, every buddy? What's going on, you guys? And welcome back to some more custom zombies here on the map. Trench defense. This one's kind of fun, man. I was playing this one just to play some custom zombies. And I'm like, this is actually going to make a good video. And I got 25 kills. And it gave me quick revive. It said, like, as a reward for getting 25 kills, you get quick revive. So I'm wondering... What happens when I get 50? What happens when I get 75, 100, etc., etc.? So I figured, let's stop and let me hit record. Now, it's it's a simple design. It is literally a trench. And as you can see, there's some boxes you can hop up on and get a good view. Now, the good news is that the zombies only come from uh, this field over here. They're not coming from that side, too. That would be too much. That would be too much. So, uh, But down here on this table, we got a Bowie knife. And we got some bouncing Bettys. And the map was made by my buddy Conviction DR. So I know Conviction DR. Here, let's go ahead and grab this MP40 real quick. I know him. He does challenge maps, and I kind of know his style. I know his little. Uh, I know some of the things he likes to do. And I guarantee this Bowie knife's here because you'll get something if you get a certain amount of knife kills. So I'm probably gonna buy that Bowie knife at some point and stab some zombies with it. Um, there's also a mystery box on the other end of the trench. In fact, we can camp on one side or the other. I don't care which side. Maybe this side. Yeah, we'll camp here. This will work. Or maybe the other side's better. I don't know. We'll see which one will give us the longest line of sight here. And the furthest drop point for the zombies. And that's the one we'll stand on. See, we don't have a very long line of sight here. They'll come around this corner. Oh, they drop in right here. No thanks. Definitely the other way. Definitely the other side. All right. So, yeah, boxes right here. We'll spin that, see what's in it. And so far, for sure, I know that you can get Perka Colas from getting kills. Or at least Quick Revive. That's all I know. So I stopped right there. I'm like, oh, I'm recording this. So let's see how far I can make it in the skinny-ass trench. Let's see what kind of cool things we can get as rewards. And uh, let's have some fun with it, man. Let's have some fun with the damn thing. NFL, guys. Super Bowl's around the corner. I keep streaming on Twitch and people keep asking me, what are my Super Bowl picks? So... I'll let everybody know. Oh, shit. I don't know that I'm supposed to jump up on this, but I will. My Super Bowl picks are as follows. I got the Patriots. I'm sorry. No, okay. All right. Shit, I got the Patriots. I was actually going to start with the other division, but... Yeah, so you got the Patriots playing the Broncos. Now, interesting enough, like, I thought that Peyton Manning looked kind of bad, but then again, he hadn't played in a while, so maybe it was Russ, but he's super old. And this is definitely going to be his last season. So I didn't think he looked good against the Steelers. I think that's that's that was bad. It was real bad actually. But his receivers dropped. There we go. Quick revive. Uh, but his receivers dropped a ton of passes as well. Now the defense did their job, and they'll probably do their job against the Patriots as well. It's a really good defense. Um, and Tom Brady's super awesome. Bill Belichick super awesome. They're both great at what they do, especially in the playoffs. But I saw this interesting stat. Did you know that Peyton Manning... I mean, I'm sorry. Eli, uh, what the hell's his name? What is your name? Tom Brady. Good Lord, sorry. Tom Brady has played in Denver eight times, and his record is two wins, six losses. So, Denver fans, there is hope. But I am going to go with the Patriots on this one. I just don't think they're going to get it done, the Denver Broncos, that is. I hope they do, honestly. I'd much rather see the Broncos go to the Super Bowl. And Peyton Manning have one last ride into the sunset. I'm going to get this. What's my god? Give me that. Yes, the python. The weebly. The webly. All right. This thing's probably pretty strong. Look at it. Look how stupid I look. I'm just holding my arms straight out. Nobody carries a gun like this. Nobody. And then the other division, of course, we got the Panthers and we got the Cardinals. And I said it before and I'll say it again. The Panthers are a soft, soft-ass second-half team. Their defense is not as good as people think it is. And they're soft, man. They're a soft team, but that being said, they're a 15 and one soft team, and you gotta respect that. Man, this thing sounds crazy. So I'm going with the Panthers. I think they'll get it done. I think they'll get it done, but the Cardinals are no pushovers, man. They're gonna do just fine in that game, and I think it's gonna be close, and they could even beat the Panthers. I'm not sold on my picks at all, by the way. I'm completely not sold. I could see Arizona beating the Panthers, and I really wanna say Arizona, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say the Panthers. I think they're the smarter bet. They're at home. Arizona's got to travel across the country. I uh, just, I don't know. I guess I like the Panthers a little bit better. A little bit better. Not much better. But a little bit. Hopefully we get Jug, man. Could use some Jug in my life. Is there an MG in here? 
Ooh, STG though. Grab that. Hopefully there's an MG in there. Uh, so that's my pick. So we got the Panthers taking on the Patriots. Taking on the Patriots. And then from there, who's going to win that one? Right? I hope that the Panthers would win that. I am just as, as much as I think of Tom Brady, like he's an awesome quarterback. Oh, Juggernaut, sweet. I, I just don't like the Patriots. Just don't like them. I want them to lose and lose often. I'm going to go ahead and grab some Bouncing Bettys. And I'm going to grab this Bowie knife too. Why not? All right. So now we can kind of set up a little defense here for us. Right, gang? Put this down there. All right. We get two of them. Put this one down right about there. I don't want them too close to me. They'll probably do some damage. STG hype, though. Oh, these zombies are starting to come in hot. We're going to need Speed Cola, gang. What is that? 10k max... 10k points. I got a max ammo for getting 10,000 points. Look, little just crazy rewards. We're gonna die. Oh, we're dying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, please. I just got these perks. You son of a bitch. Just knife them all like it. Damn it. Oh, no. We lost our perks. Wasn't counting on that. Alright. Oh, hi. Hi, zombie. That's a kill. Man, I almost knifed my way out of that jam, to be honest. 100 kills. Devil's Deadly Dagger. Ooh, my knife's even stronger now. It gives you extra melee damage, I think. All right, we gotta spin the box again. So look, man, there's some cool stuff. We got a free max ammo. We got Quick Revive. We got Jug, and we just got Devil's Deadly Dagger. Hopefully there's a way to earn back Jug and Quick Revive, but I doubt it. Something tells me we're about to just be screwed here. I don't think we're getting out of this one, gang. Look how fast they're coming. We'll definitely run it back, though. We'll give it another try after this. See if we can improve, but yeah, we're definitely gonna not make it. I need Speed Cola! Speed Cola! Oh, God, only eight rounds. Only eight rounds, but four rewards. Let's see if we can beat one of those, right? So maybe we can beat the four rewards. Maybe we can beat eight rounds. That is tough. I like it, though. Let's go again. Run it back. All right, we are back. We're going to try this again. Hopefully it goes a little bit better this time. So I don't know how many of you guys were aware of this, but recently in Black Ops three right we were able to do double crypto key weekend which i thought was great but what i would really really like is a double liquid divinium weekend let me know if that's something you guys would be interested to interested in and i'll make it happen ah I'll, I'll write a letter and we'll get it going but yeah I'm, I'm thinking that in the future it would certainly seem like that's something they would do because they can't favorite they can't show favoritism to one community and not the other so you got the multiplayer people you got the zombie people the zombie people want a double liquid divinium Weekend, and we will get it, I promise you. I think we're going to get that. That'll be sweet. Because I could use some more Liquid Divinium in my life per game. I mean, it's not cool. You play zombies for an hour, two hours, three hours, some sessions, and you walk out with two Liquid Diviniums. Like, what is that? What is that? How about more? All right, I'm going to spin the box, or do I take a... Ch I'm going to take a chance to spin the box. I can get the sure thing, that MP40. Oh, my God! Ooh, we can actually beat our eight rounds now. I'm excited about that. All right, we got the PP gang. If you're not aware of what the PP is, if you're new to zombies, it's only the greatest gun ever put in zombies, and it's better than most wonder weapons. Not even going to lie. This thing is awesome. That was a sweet pull. And a lot of people are hoping it makes a, turn, a return into Isendrak. Uh, looks like we might get the MP40 or the MP41, I think it is. And some people were telling me it's something called a gas gun or whatever. But if you look up MP41, I think you'll notice that that is exactly what Tank Dempsey has in his hand. It's an MP41. So I think that's what we're going to get. And, of course, if we're getting cool uh, old school guns like that, then who knows? Maybe they bring back the MP40 for us. I'm taking another chance. Come on. We can use some monkey bombs, maybe. What do you say, Box? Oh, we got the MP40 anyways. Just paid a little less for it. 50 points less. I'm going to hang out here for a minute. We should be getting close to 25 kills, right? Where's my quick revive game? I guess once you lose your perks, though, you're done. I wish Speed Cola would hurry up and get in that. Uh, be a, would be a reward, like, quickly. Because you really need Speed Cola when you're camping. I don't know what it would be, though. How would you get Speed Cola? I guess it just kills. And it was weird that we got... Devil's Deadly Dagger before Speed Cola. But I guess if you have that Bowie Knife and you're camping, I mean, the swing was pretty fast. It might be able to do all right this time. I'm going to go down there and get that Bowie Knife in a minute. Haha. -ha. 
Nice. Is that it? No, I don't think so. Where's the last zombie? Zombie! Come to me, zombie! Hey, there's something way out in the field there. What is that? A scarecrow, maybe? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Nick puts something off the damn map. If I hit, I'll get something. Oh, it's a tractor. Oh, there is a scarecrow way out there. It's very foggy. It's hard to see. I don't think it does anything. Quit messing with the scarecrow. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if there's something off the map. If you hit, you'll get a reward. But I think it would be kind of obvious, too. All right, let's pay attention. We got zombies to kill here. Thank God they at least drop stuff for you. All right, we got enough for the Bowie. Some people call it the Bowie. Well, I was watching an Alley A video, Danny. He told us how to get the Bowie knife in multiplayer. Is that how you guys say it over in England? Is Bowie? Or is Alley A just being weird? Almost out of ammo or PP. I was not anticipating this problem already. Oh, hey, 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 big guy up there. Leave me alone now. Oh, so you can hit me from up there, but I can't hit you. There we go. I got you. All right. Box spin, box spin. Something better than the MP40. Oh, oh hopefully we can pack a bunch. Yeah. We got the Tommy gun and we got the PPSH-41. So the M1927 or a Tommy gun. And the freaking PP. This is a great combo. I think we're going to be all right. Going to be just fine here, boys and girls. What would be a cool boss for Derison Drag? I would love to talk about that real quick before we die again. Because you know that's happening. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't have Jug yet. Damn it. No, no, no. That was bad lagging. Should get Jug, though, very soon. What was it last time? How did we get Jug last time? 75 kills? Hard to believe we don't have 75 kills yet. Oh, we're two off. All right, we should get Jug here in a minute. But yeah, some Derison Drag bosses. So people are speculating a few things, but uh, like Frankenstein was one that I heard. I thought that would be really cool. Sort of like a Frankenstein monster. It just goes good with a castle theme. I think like some sort of like knight, like a giant knight in like, like a full armor suit running around would be pretty sweet as well. Like, I don't want the Panzer sold at. But if they're going to reskin the Panzer sold at, because a lot of people are ruminating, like, thinking that the Panzer's coming back. But if they reskin the Panzer, there's some more max ammo. Come on, leave me alone, leave me alone. We'll get that PP out in a second. I think we're fine here, you know? Devil's Deadly Dagger. Hit that. All right. Okay. Yeah, so, like, if you reskin, if you're going to just take, like, Brutus. Or um, uh, 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 the Panzer and put a new skin on him. A, a, just a big armored statue like. Like, you know, the guys that used to joust. Like a, like, a, like a knight back in the day. I don't like this at all, gang. They're coming in hot now. Yeah, like a knight from back in the day. That would be great. I need 150 kills probably for Speed Cola. If we can get to Speed Cola, we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. I have a feeling we're going to get something for headshots and for knifing. I just, I just know it. I just know it. So I'm going to keep going with these headshots and knifing. You know what? We got it under control this round for the most part. 125 kills for Deadshot Daiquiri. That's interesting. There's no laser on my gun, though. Where is Speed Cola? Why would you make me wait this long? Oh, uh, we should probably get those bouncing Bettys, too. Ooh, can we get them and get back down there quick enough? Go, 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 go. Bouncing Betty here. Bouncing Betty here. Oh, insta-kill. Is that insta-kill? I really want that. Oh, reload! They got behind me. They got behind me. Oh, speed cola! 150 kills to get that. All right, we're, we're in good position now. And, guys, guess what? We're on the same round we were last time before we died, so... I am hoping 115 headshots or something will get us pack-a-punch. Or, like, 100 knives or something will get us pack-a-punch. Something's got to get us pack-a-punch. 
think we're doing good though. Alright, let's do Bouncing Betty here. Bouncing Betty there. Yeah, leave your boss ideas though. I mean, it is called the Iron Dragon, right? So it's not out of the realm of possibilities. We'll have some sort of like dragon 20k points for max ammo. We'll get some sort of um dragon boss. I'd be okay with that. Stopping power? Yes, our bullets are strong enough for 175 kills. Oh, we're getting it now. Yeah, we got a, a perk called stopping power. Sweet. So if you don't remember stopping power, it was a perk you could load out with in what was it, gang? COD 4? Did COD 4 have? Yeah, I think COD 4 had it. Alright, do we spin the box again? I just want to see if we get monkey bombs. Would be nice. A flamethrower? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I kind of thought about it for a second. Maybe we can get, um... Ooh, maybe we can get PhD Flopper. We can put these bouncing baddies right on top of us then. That'd be great. Oh, thank you, Speed Cola. Double tap with stopping power. Jesus. So this ought to be nice. We're going to run out of ammo quick. It's almost like having insta-kill, to be honest with you. Oh, we're getting pushed back. What do we have? 109 headshots. I really think something's going to happen at 115. A couple of his maps, you got rewarded with 115 headshots. And then 75 knives or 75 insta-kill kills would get you something else as well. So that's what I'm hoping for. Let's use the PP this round just a little bit. Oh, lag it. PHC flopper. There it is. Nice. I'll pick that up if I need to. Try to get some more headshots. Another max ammo. What'd I get? I get something? Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Just got another max ammo. Stamina up. Why would you need stamina up with this? I guess we're gonna get them all. Let's go. Let's go, gang. Hit that. Alright, cool. We can put these bouncing baddies, like, way back here with us. If we get pushed all the way back, we'll be fine. That'll clear them out. All right, good. I still want to try to get monkey bombs. Although, let's be honest, we'll never have the chance to actually pull them out, throw them on the ground, and have them activated. It just doesn't, it just, they don't come out fast enough. That's what she said. It's got to be 115 headshots. So I don't think we're getting anything. Yeah, 140. Oh, boy. Easy does it, zombies. There's no zombie counter either. 150 headshots. Hey, I knew we'd get something for headshots. Sweet, we got an upgrade to the PP. To both, maybe? No, just the PP. Dude, we just pack a bunch. We got the Reaper. Hell yes, man. What else is in this box? I haven't even looked really when it's spinning. Oh, ray guns in there? That would be actually good, right? Eh, that'd be good, the ray gun, I think, with PXC Flopper. So the, the last thing I was thinking that we'd get is insta kill kills or knifing kills. Get something for that, too. Well, round 13, the second run's going well. I don't know if we'll make it to round 24 like we always try to do, but... 40k points got me a max ammo. Here we go. These kills should be counting towards something. Come on down, baby. So this map's pretty interesting, right? So it's actually part of a pack of maps that Nick made. Um, and he came out with a new map called... I want to say it's called Dawnville. And I'll put a link down to Dawnville, right? As soon as it's available for me to put down. I can't just put it down if he doesn't want me to. Um, but yeah, Dawnville has this map on the menu. As well as like a church one that's similar to this. As well as a, like a couple more. Oh, uh, this might be the death of me. I better not go for that. Oh, this gun is too good. I've gone for it. Screw it. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. 200 shots, max, 200 headshots, got me a max ammo, all right, all right, I guess we need to risk it then, we'll stay right here, Devil's Deadly Dagger, the reason he gave me that is so we can get knife kills, I know it, I just know it, we gotta get knife kills, knife kills for something, how many of these can you put down, oh no, round, do they stack, yeah, they stack, hell yeah, there we go, bouncing Betty Trail of Doom back here, all right, all right. And then, like, traps. How about traps in the new map? Like, I think everything should just have a cool castle theme to it. So, like, I'm hoping there's, like... You know, like, when, when castles would be uh, under attack, they would, like, 
like put tar up on the there would be like tar to try to keep people from breaching the castle walls and stuff that would be really cool to have like a fire tar trap or something like that like or maybe like something to do with a catapult just there's there's some really cool possibilities yeah, let's just make a whole breadcrumb trail of freaking bouncing betties here should get a couple more in a second those bouncing betties just saved our life by the way round 15 going on 16 yeah, without those bouncing betties, we might have been in some trouble there. I'll try to get some knife kills this round, but I gotta wait towards the end of the round. You know, why we have insta kill, I might as well be using this gun. Come on, come on, come on. Can you guys think of any cool traps? Catapults. Tar fire. What else castles have? Oh, I almost guarantee there's going to be trap doors. Like, you know, hidden passageways and shit. Like, that's almost a guarantee, right? Like, you pull the arm of a statue and a whole wall opens. There's got to be a dungeon. There's got to be a dungeon. Oh, I'm getting excited for Dreisendrak. Yeah. Drop a like if you're getting excited for it. I can't wait. I can't wait. I got some fantastic news to share with you guys, but I can't right now. I just can't, but I will soon. I will be able to share it with you soon. I cannot wait to be able to share this with you. More max ammo. Got 250 headshots. It's hard to believe, actually. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Hey, it pushed me all the way back. Get back, you bastard! Get back! Come on, give me my reward for knifing. I know there's one there. I just know it. Maybe there's not. I think we got all the Pearl Coca-Colas except for Mule Kick. Yeah, I bet Mule Kick's for knifing. I don't really want a Mule Kick, but who knows? We can get a third gun. And I could be able to get an upgrade on this one for something. Ha! <laughs> okay. No, absolutely not. Oh, I gotta put these down, put them down, put them down. All right, we're on round 18. A lot further than I thought we were going to make it on here. But once you start getting the perks, you are good to go. Except we lost Quick Revive. That sucks. We'd have a second chance at this. But let's be honest. If you go down, you get back up, right, with your Quick Revive, you won't have any other perks. So you're going to die almost instantly because these guys are going to overwhelm you with no Speed Cola to reload quickly enough. No Double Tap or Stopping Power. You're done. So 300 more max. We're just max ammos on top of max ammos at this point. Alright, let's knife a few to end the round. I still believe there's some sort of knife reward. Ooh. Is the dagger not doing it anymore? No, it's still a one shot. Or one a one swipe, I think. Hang on. No, it's two now. Yeah, I don't guess we're getting something for knifing. I don't guess we get a reward for that after all. It's weird that he put Devil's Deadly Dagger in, and you don't get a reward for knifing and the Bowie knife's on here. Thought for sure you would. Alright. We're going to get to round 24. We got this, man. This map's got nothing on us. I think very, very lucky to get the PPS H41 and to actually have it in our hand when we got that free up, that upgrade. I had no idea that was coming. So that really worked out. Greatest gun ever. Right here, gang. Right here. If it comes back into Black Ops 3, it's going to be legendary. Unless they nerf it. Oh, the nerve if they did that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh boy, I think we got a little lucky there. Little lucky there, yeah, no mule kick though. I'm a little, a little surprised by that. Unless we haven't figured out how to get it yet. What other ways to kill zombies? Explosives? Maybe explosive kills? Well, we're slowly killing them with bouncing betties, so if there is something under explosives, we might get it at some point. Oh, they are just pushing in real hard now. It's to kill hype. How many points do we have? 88,000 points and nothing to spend it on except for the box, really. Hundred K points, max ammo. Man, we just crossed hundred K points. Lovely. We keep getting max ammo all the time. 
Round 20. Wow. How many of you guys guessed that I was going to make it round 20? I didn't tell you guess anything, but... I wouldn't have guessed that if I were you. Are we going to get some more bouncing buddies? Yeah, cool. All right, nice. Bring it, zombies. Can we make it past round 20? It's getting tough now. They're not dying as quickly. And they're as fast as I think the zombies can be programmed to be, I guess. I don't know. And the PP is even struggling a little bit with them now. No, it's not. I'm just tap firing. I should just spray it. It'll melt them. I'm just trying to conserve the ammo on it, because if we get stuck using that M1927, we are all the way screwed. It'd be nice to have the ray gun. I should be spinning that box. I'm trying to get the ray gun. Just spam the ground with the ray gun and probably do just fine. Yeah, we're almost out of ammo. No, we're not. Just got another max ammo. Jesus. 400 headshots. And another max ammo. No, it's not the ray gun. It's not going to help. More bouncing Bettys, please. Shut box. Come on, get another spin. Oh, they come so quick, though. That's what I said to her. Dun, 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 dun. Ray gun. Nope. Oh, we're making it around 24. Oh, God. Wait, I should stop saying that. I should just stop saying it. Or we're not going to make it. Insta kill. Pick that up. Speed up the process a little bit. You ain't kidding me, zombies. I have defended this trench with honor and dignity. We have done really good. I keep saying we like you guys have anything to do with it. You don't, all right? You don't have anything to do with this. This is all me. I'd love for you guys to play this, though. Let me know how you did. Let me know how you did. Like I said, I will put the link when the link is available. A werewolf would be a pretty cool thing, wouldn't it? If there's a werewolf on Dreisendrak as a boss. I don't know why I think werewolf when I think castle. But I do. It's probably because that one movie, Underworld. Didn't they have, like, a castle fortress for all the vampires? And, like, the third one? And the werewolves did, like, a siege on it? That's probably why I think that. Yeah, let's get some werewolves. Van Helsing should be on the map, too. Put some vampires in there. Why not? Let's just get it going, gang. Let's get a Frankenstein, a vampire, some werewolves, a knight in shining armor. I don't know, other things. Whatever you can think of. Maybe the Hunchback of Notre Dame could show up. <laughs> or Igor, whatever his name is. Hell yeah. Just make a weird map. Come on, Treyarch. It can't get any weirder than Shadows of Evil was. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're down to this guy, and we're on round 23. So close to getting to round 24. But also, we have to make it through round 24, too. But the challenge is a fail. We do all of our challenges to round 24. Even though this technically isn't a challenge, it's a challenge map. There we go. That's what we needed. Ray gun? Ray gun, please. All right, we're going to get through this round. I kind of want to use that flamethrower, too, you know. That's so stupid. Why would I do this? I'm doing it. I'm an idiot. Because they don't die instantly. They they have to burn and travel some distance before they actually die. Yeah, screw that. What was I thinking? Enough of that. That was dumb. Now our backup gun's a freaking flamethrower that doesn't work. If this thing runs out of ammo, we're screwed. We just gotta get through this round. Why did I do that? Hey, lagging, hit the zombies. No, no, he's behind me. Oh, thank you, thank you, Nuke. Things were getting a little crazy. And then the Nuke came and saved us. Round 24, am I right, gang? It always does crazy stuff. Oh, there's the monkey bombs. We don't need them anymore. But here, let's throw one out and see if it works. Yeah, it does. Ah! I don't think we have any more bouncing buddies laid down either back here. Come on! Freaking crawler, get out of here! Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! We definitely did it. I just gotta kill that crawler off. I just gotta. I wanna see if there's anything out here I should be shooting at. We saw the one scarecrow. If there are a total of three scarecrows, then I would shoot at all three, but I don't see any more. 
All right. I think, gang, we could call this one Challenge Complete. We got all the perks. We did lose Quick Revive, but who cares? Uh, we got a Pack-A-Punch weapon. We survived 24 rounds in the Trench of Death, which is what I will name this video now, Trench of Doom and Despair. And anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. And as always, it's Bigger Boy Lagan24. And I will see you uh, next time.